Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Ooblets video. A few weeks ago, Ooblets announced that the game's full release was happening this summer. This means a lot of new players will be trying out the game for the first time. To help those new players and act as a refresh for the veterans, I'm going to share in this video 10 things every Ooblet player should know. This way, you're ready to conquer the game once it's released. One, you should talk to everyone as often as you can. It does not take long and the rewards are well worth the time. You can get things from Ooblet accessories to seeds to gummies. Some of these Ooblet accessories, such as the hats all my Ooblets wear, can only be obtained by filling friendship bars. So don't be afraid to be social. Two, when the shop update came out, I posted a picture of my finished shop on Twitter, and I was surprised by how few people realized you could place chests, ovens, and beds in the shops. But you can! If you can put it in your house, then you can put it in your shop. So keep that in mind when setting yours up, because having everything on hand can make playing the minigame a lot easier and even more enjoyable. Three. One of the Wildlands' most common requests is for you to add a type of ooblet to it. That type can be a breed, rarity, or what area it's from. To make completing these tasks easier, I recommend having on your follow buddy team one ooblet of each variety from each area. This lets you complete a good chunk of the tasks without having to travel back to the house. Plus, once you send the ooblets in, you can instantly fetch it back, so it's not separated from you long. 4. If you want to collect every type of ooblet as I do, then this one screen is of the utmost importance. As tempting as it might be to speed skip through the Your Nights, don't. Instead, take a moment to look at the ooblet spawning list to see if any of the ones you don't have will be out and about that day. 5. Another list you're going to want to check regularly is the Dance Hall Prize List. Every day, a new seed is offered, and if you're interested in getting your hands on any of the elsewhere ooblets, this is your only way. Thankfully, you only need to check it once a week, but note what day those rare ooblets are up for grabs so you don't miss it. 6. Trying to make a lot of money fast? Growing and selling crops is a great way, but how do you know which one is worth the most? Well, it's a simple equation. Just subtract the number of gummies you made from the plant by how much you spent on the seeds, and then divide that number out by the days it takes to grow. Or you could just watch the video I made in which I did all that work for you. One disclaimer, some of the newer plants are not on that list as the video was made before they were added, but it just shows that other areas' plants tend to be worth more and that growing cloth plants in hope of making a profit is a bad idea. 7. The very first new area added to the game actually has one of the most valuable scavengeables. It's the balmy flower and it grows on these cacti. During your early game, when your days are full and busy, I recommend making time to gather as many of these as you can, because once you get to the more gritty parts, such as waiting for specific ooblets to show up or certain crops to grow, this plant will be your biggest time saver. That's because it's the only ingredient needed to make sleepy time tea, which is the only way in this game to skip days. This drink was a lifesaver when it came to making Ooblet update videos, so make sure you have a large supply on hand for when the grind gets real. 8. As you go through the game, you're going to start to wonder what the point is in leveling up your Ooblets. After all, once they get past level 4, they have unlocked all their special cards and are as powerful as they're going to get in dance battles. Well, I've got the answer for you, and it involves these Ooblet powered workstations. The higher level your Ooblet is, the faster it will work at these stations. Just look at the difference between my level 19 Ooblet and my level 5. 9. Gleamies are so sparkly and fun that it could be tempting to make your entire follow babies a showcase of how many gleamies you got. But I'm here to tell you to resist that temptation. That's because gleamies are actually better working your farms, because when they do that, they will give you obsidian. The more gleamies you have growing crops, the more obsidian you have, until you have too much, like me, with over 1,000. But don't worry, obsidian makes great fish bait, so worth gathering as much as you can. 10. Last of all, I want to warn people about making a mistake I made during my Let's Play. 
I once planted an ooblet, only to discover I couldn't harvest it because I didn't have enough ooblet houses. To make matters worse, I couldn't water it, and the poor ooblet started to die. Don't panic when this happens. There's an easy solution to it. Plant your ooblets next to sprinklers, or add sprinklers next to the already planted ooblet. This keeps them watered for as long as it takes for you to come up with the supplies to upgrade or make a new ooblet house. And there you have it. Those are 10 things every ooblet player should know. Let me know how many of these tips you were aware of and which ones you had no clue about. Also, let me know if you've been playing ooblets in early access as I have, or if you're waiting for its official release. But this is all the time we have for today. I hope you have a beautiful and blessed day, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye! Oh.